so we're going old school today. We're going to go back to the 1990s and use a whiteboard. Uh, don't panic though, um, you'll still learn something. Um, on page 82, we looked at what proportions and ratios were. Today, we're going to look at are two proportions equal or are they not equal? Are they equivalent or not equivalent? So I went with these because I think people understand money and they use it all the time. So my question is, is one half equal to 50 over 100? And if you think about it, yeah, it is. Because if you think of you got 50 pennies out of 100, well, yeah, I got half a dollar. So they're equal. Question mark, we can remove that. Now, if you notice, you can multiply something to get to 50 from one, 50. And if you do the same here, oh, look at that. One times 50 is 50, two times 50 is 100. So there's a multiplier between these that works. Here, quarter of a dollar, right? Um, 25 pennies over 100, I think you can see that's equal. And again, if you think about it for a sec, you'll notice that if you multiply one times 25 and four times 25, that equals 100 <coughs> and equals 25. <coughs> Three quarters of the dollar, <coughs> 75 pennies over 100, <coughs> multiplying by 25. And you can see that works. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, there's another interesting thing about proportions that you may not have picked up. You probably picked that up, but you may not have noticed this. I want to show you something that's kind of cool. If you multiply this 50 times 2, and you multiply this 1 times 100, ooh, come up with the same answer, 100. If you multiply 100 here, and these proportions are equal, I'm repeating what I did over here, they come out the same. And that's a great way to check if proportions are the same. And that's what they're showing you in the book. Look at your numbers and see when you cross multiply, do the numbers come out the same? Now I'm gonna do one that's obviously not the same. One half is not 75 over 100. It's not equal. But you'll see what happens when I cross multiply. It didn't come out the same. Now your textbook gives you two examples. Nine times 20, 180. 12 times 15, 180. So this proportion is equal. And then the second example they give you, they show you one that's not equal. Okay. All right. So your task is to do page 83. And what you're going to do is you're going to look at your proportions, do your cross multiplying. If the numbers come out the same, you've got a winner. If it comes out different, those are not the proportion. They're not equal. Okay. All right. So have fun.